Okay, so we're asked to solve this by completing the square. Now, when we complete the square, the bit we're interested in is this first bit, and that minus 20 is just kind of going to sit there until you know we've done the completing the square bit. So we're going to to complete the square. You put that into brackets, and it's x minus half the number before the x. So half of 12 is 6 squared. Now, if I just come back to that in a second, and we're just going to expand x minus 6 squared, so that's going to be the same as x minus 6, x minus 6. And so that creates x squared, which is great, that's what we want. Minus 6, x minus 6, so minus 12x, brilliant, that's what we want. And then plus 36, that's the bit there that we don't want. So what I'm going to do straight away is get rid of that um, 36 that it creates. And then we've got minus 20 equals 0. So the purple bit here is exactly the same as the purple bit I've highlighted in the question. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put that minus 36 and the minus 20 together. So we're going to write, rewrite this, putting those together to make minus 56 and still equal 0. It's at this point we put our lines in because we're going to now uh, solve this. So the first thing I want to do is add 56 to both sides. So we've got x minus 6 squared equals 56. Next thing I want to do is square root both sides to get rid of that squared. So we've got x minus 6 equals square root of 56. Now, we don't often do this, but for these types of questions, we need to highlight the fact that you get a plus and a minus when you square root something. OK, next thing we need to add the 6 to get rid of that. So we've got x equals, now it's customary to put the number before the, the third. Uh, before the square root, so we've got 6 plus minus root 56, which is our answer. So we've got x equals 6 plus minus root 56.